Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. If you are new to this platform, this is the channel where we look at the soul connections and relationships between some of our favorite celebrities and influencers. If you are returning to this channel, thank you so much for helping in its continued growth. In this reading, we are going to be looking at the relationship between Kanye West and Shaney. I hope I'm saying that right, Shaney Jones. Um and it's interesting this is the third relationship i think this is the first person where i'm looking at one of their relationships but i'm looking at a third one of their relationships and i just think that's just interesting um you know no shade no tea it's just going to be interesting to look back between this one and the one in julia fox or the one with him and kim that i think i've done a couple of him and kim um, with this new connection because, you know, we look back at the one of Julia Fox, we knew that that one was sort of a karmic dynamic that was playing out. So I'm super excited to see what is taking place between him and Shaney. So let's get right into it. As always, these readings are just my energetic opinion. They are not based on actual facts or receipts and should never be used to send hate or accusations to celebrities. So let's get right into it. This reading is for Kanye West and Shaney Jones. Oof. So we have two to start. Wow. So we got a beginning and a timeline jump. That is crazy. Okay. So this might be like a soul vibe that is happening between the two of them. We've got, you know, a 53, which is an eight over beginnings. And that is talking about, you know, a ham Ooh, a harmonious flow of energy between the two of a give and receive and then a timeline jump which is speaking to two paths that are really aligning with one another it can either be talking about paths diverging or aligning and the energy that i'm getting from this is definitely like a true alignment in some ways so let's go ahead and pull some tarot Okay. The High Priestess with the Three of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Swords with the Two of Wands. The Queen of Swords with the Four of Discs. The World with the Seven of Discs. The Ten of Cups with the Two of Swords. Okay. And then the Hanged Man in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This is Kanye. So, okay. So, there. it's like there is a huge chance for a new connection that could have a lot of positive outcomes. But in general, he's still very much at a standstill and still very much stuck no doubt about that so 
this timeline card that we got in the beginning of the reading is actually, you know, it's like right in that area where you could go either way. He's just standing there. There's a tree that we can't see and he's just hanging out on the tree trying to figure out what to do and needs to make steps toward this new beginning. But there is a standstill here and, you know, we're going to start on his side because I feel like it's just, it's very self-explanatory. Um, at least from my end of things, because we have the Ten of Cups in reverse here, the Happy Family card in reverse with the Two of Swords. So this is still very much um, emotional over the loss of his nuclear family unit. So I do think that this is speaking to his connection, um, you know, his marriage with Kim Kardashian and still feeling in a place of indecision, Two of Swords on that torn going back and forth, going back and forth between what I'm not sure, but of course we'll look deeper into that, but still very much stuck. And this stuck energy is being reiterated again on his side with the world in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse because there is this, this, <sighs> the seven of pentacles in reverse is feeling despair over not being able to grow anymore as a family. I'm not, I don't know, but I'm not saying like he wanted more children, but I do feel like he wanted more. He just never really wanted to lose his nuclear family. And because of that, like there is almost like just this so, uh, I have no idea how to pick up the pieces. I feel with the world in reverse so incomplete, deeply incomplete. And I don't necessarily have the tools yet in the 3D on how to overcome that. What's interesting though, which is coming in his energy in between him and Shaney is because the Queen of Swords and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So. I don't know if this this Queen of Swords is Kim or this Queen of Swords is Shaney. Somebody tell me if Shaney's an air sign because I feel like Kanye has a, he loves his a fellow air sign. <laughs> um, because it's coming across two different ways. It actually, I feel like it's still coming across as Kim, to be honest with you, with this Queen of Swords in the upright with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this realization that he's having by watching Kim, you know, one of the strong feminine figures in his life. And on this channel, you know, we acknowledge, at least from my energetic point of view as a twin flame connection that he shares with Kim, it's like he's realizing the level of greed he has had um, in his connection with her. And the way that he has really harbored things for himself and is seeing how conscious she uh, she is of that. And that's part of where the stuckness is coming in for him because her growth is just showing him where he hasn't grown or he's like not able to approach that yet. And then on this on this side of thing, this is definitely Shaney's energy, um, who feels like a really soft, sweet, watery soul. Um, we have this high priestess here, so she could be a Pisces. But um, with this three of cups in reverse, this is really just talking about enjoying myself while I'm enjoying myself. But I do have this very true acknowledgement that I feel like a third party still. Three of cups in reverse, there's a third party emotional disconnect and I feel that very deeply and I'm not you know naive to that at all and so we have the ten of swords in reverse with the two of wands which is just basically talking about you know having this inevitable ending in the back of her mind and just knowing that at some point she'll have to decide which way that she wants to go so that is <laughs> Wow, that is truly just so interesting. So <clears throat> let's look a little bit deeper. Didn't know Kim was going to make an appearance in the reading, but this is definitely speaking to the energy, you know, how he's responding or viewing things 
in reality, based on this shift that I feel like he's still feeling very connected to that Kim has had within herself. Okay, so we had one card that jumped out, authenticity. And I'm not surprised to see that, um, especially in a connection where I do feel like an individual is a twin flame, like um, Kim and Kanye, and a lot of masculine energy having issues with authenticity and with being true to self um, and how that can lead to periods of separation and those kinds of connections and so this is what I'm getting from this card from Kanye that there is a sense of authenticity that he's either disconnected from or is coming back to in this separation from Kim and going through these relationships particularly the one where he's in right now with Shaney Jones. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have Chameleon. So this is, again, speaking to um, <laughs> that lack of authenticity where it's just like, and you know what, and you know what this is too? This isn't just about, so it's very significant that it's the Chameleon because the Chameleon changes colors based on their environment. And what happens is for Kanye, the Chameleon effect is happening around him where the things need to change around him to adjust to the colors that have changed within him like the chameleon as opposed to him learning how to adapt to um knowing that he has these inner internal changes and realizing that his environment isn't always going to change with it and so that's a huge challenge for him is realizing that like my my outer world is not going to change at the rate or the capacity of my inner world. And then we have your story. And so there is some, so this is speaking about acceptance for Kanye and coming into really like a place of peace and balance about how where things are and just that they are what they are and that there really isn't a lot that he can do other than go through the experience so springtime so uh so there needs to so this is also um connecting to this new beginnings energy because i feel like he's getting this energetic push forward to like take a step and this connection that he's having with Shaney is percolating some new growth. And maybe, um, you know, there are some emotions that are coming up because obviously, you know, there is a, there's definitely like a level of interest there um, between the two of them. But it's like having to be open to that growth. And I get the sense that there's still some blockage because he's coming in as this hanged man. But there is potential here for this relationship to actually blossom into something. Okay, and then we have air here, another air coming in again um, with this Queen of Swords as well. But for this, this is really speaking to a fluidity. Like, um, it's like there's this duality to his energy where it's really creative and will go any which way his creativity takes him, but can be very rigid when it comes to certain matters of the mind. Um, and so needing to become more flexible and detached with certain ideas. And that's probably connected to his idea that his family can't be structured differently if he's not married to Kim, that there is no other way um, that it can function, you know, other than that. Oh, so this is good. And then coming into the sun and then realizing that there is still happiness, there is still joy, even if my perspective, my mind, my thoughts, my ego mind has to change about the way that I thought things should be. Oh, okay. This is the perfect way to end it with light at the end of the tunnel. So there is absolutely 
hope. There's there's always hope for everyone, but there's this is like hope for yay, hope for yay, um, that he can totally overcome this challenge. So let's pull some some final tarot over this. Um, this is actually like a really beautiful journey because it's real and a lot of people have to go through losing a partner that they didn't really want to lose. And that's what brings them to this greater understanding. And this is for him. This is a consciousness expansion. This is him needing to expand the ego mind. So we have this card that flew out. Belongs there. So before we cut. <laughs> so I just said this is an expansion of the ego mind. And then we got the King of Swords, King Gemini. So this is coming into a new sense of authenticity with this expansion in his mind. Like his ego has to get past what he thinks things should be like. And then he can come into this place of peace and actually genuinely connect emotionally to a new person. So over this chameleon, we have the two of pentacles in reverse. So absolutely. So we were talking about how the chameleon card for him was coming through with realizing like the colors of his internal world aren't always going to match his external and he needs to come into balance on that. So we got the two of pentacles in reverse, learning how to actually balance that internally so it can actually have 3D results and people can see that balance in real life. Um, the Eight of Pentacles over your story. So working through, yeah, like literally just doing that work on self to come to that acceptance of where things are. Over Spring, Six of Swords in reverse. So I do see moving forward from this relationship with Shaney, I you know, we take a sip of water on that. You know, this is a good time for now, but maybe before the end of this spring, this is coming over spring, this relationship sort of phases out for him. The King of Cups coming back to his emotions. Absolutely. Re after having this shift of the mind, coming back into his emotional body, um, more whole and more able to connect with potentially a new person could be someone from the past could be shaney again but i don't know i do feel like there will be a separation or a walking away there and then we have the two of cups in reverse over the sun Kanye. <laughs> oh my god he wants kim back so bad <sighs> Oh, it's going to be a journey. <clears throat> it's going to be a journey for him. Two of Cups in reverse over the sun. There really was no connection. And there isn't because Twin Flame is Twin Flame. And that's always just going to be home for him. And so this Two of Cups in reverse is definitely coming back to your emotions. But maybe really dealing fully with the loss um like in a real way in an emotional way and not just artistically or verbally or mentally or physically like having to move around or change your schedule or whatever like really in an emotional way and then over light at the end of the tunnel oh and then finding peace wow the Four of Swords, meditation, find, he has got to find that peace and he will and he'll be the strong divine masculine that he is, the emperor, perfect way to end it, perfect way to end it. This is such a beautiful story of how you can overcome deep emotional loss and take accountability and this is kind of what that's looking like for him and I think that that is very beautiful to see so if you like this reading please go ahead and give it a thumbs up let me know what you thought about it in the comments and who you would like to see next you can connect with me at official Chinez on Instagram and TikTok both of which are linked below and in the pinned description box you can also or <laughs> the pinned comment um you can also uh, get the link on how to book with me for a personal reading in the description box and pin comment as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.